Nice. In-game settings. My in-game settings haven't really changed since the last video I made. Shift lock on, camera sensitivity to 0.43. Perfect speed to make camera adjustments. Volume is just personal preference, but I have it on one so I can focus better and to better here given callouts. Full screen on and graphics mode to manual. When you play small maps like brick tops, you don't need six bars, so I recommend putting it on two to three then. But for bigger maps, I prefer six so you can view the whole map. Cursors. One of the most frequently asked questions is what cursor I like to use. Whenever I raid or defend bases, I just go with the default dot or the default cursor they have. For RCL games, I have two cursors I like to use. This one for medium and close combat and the dot for when I want to play more passive and contest them on long range. Both cursor IDs will be in the description. Roblox launcher settings. This step is to reduce input lag from your mouse, so it basically gives you more control to be precise. You go to compatibility tab and press change high DPI settings. Make sure you copy what I have. Some older versions of Windows do not have this button, so you either need to upgrade your Windows or skip this step. Windows mouse settings. Mouse settings are personal preference, but over the years I experimented with a lot of these settings and found the ones that helped me improve the most. It will take a few days to get used to them, but it's definitely worth giving it a try. Make sure you are on the pointer options tab and copy what I have. Like you can see here, I play on 5 out of 11. Deselect both check marks if any of them are on. Doing so will reduce mouse delay and give you more control over your cursor. Mouse software. There are tons of computer mice out there, but assuming you have a gaming mouse, you can either change your mouse DPI with buttons on your mouse, or by installing software that comes with your mouse. With buttons, you are limited to certain DPI speeds, while with the software, you can configure custom DPI speeds. Best way to find out if your mouse supports software to do this is by googling your mouse type, plus the software download behind it. Just be careful with the links you click. Logitech gaming software. I'm using a Logitech mouse, so I installed the Logitech software for it. It's called Logitech G Hub. It will automatically detect what version of Logitech mouse you have and allow you to configure it. In this screen, I can configure my DPI speeds. Like you can see here, I'm currently using 500 DPI and I definitely recommend using 500, but I like to switch to 450 or 550 from time to time. You can also change the polling speed of your mouse this is the amount of times your mouse sends information to your PC. I have it on 1000, but if your PC isn't the best, you can also set it to 500. You want to keep your mouse software up to date, so by clicking on the gear icon, you can check for updates and eventually update your mouse drivers to the most recent version. Color settings. Some maps, such as Azuk and Mines, have a really dark color scheme. So if you want to improve your vision on those kinds of maps to land more shots, you want to go to your Windows Color Management and increase the brightness. While editing, I figured out it wasn't visible on recording, but you'll have to try this yourself. It's really useful on some maps. I installed this program called GeForce Experience. It keeps your drivers up to date. It also comes with a program called Shadow Play, which allows you to clip the last X amount of minutes of your game. Though this program is only available to users with an Nvidia graphics card. In my previous video, I explained how to install the FPS Unlocker. If you haven't installed it already, make sure to check that video out as well. The link to this should appear top right corner right now.